Welcome to the Wrestling Rundown, episode 27. That's, that's, that's all a, I am. That's a lot of episodes. That is a lot of episodes. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I am d Brown, that is Mark Henry, and that is Kama Mustafa. We are the Nation of Domination. See, <laughs> <laughs> so you, you didn't even go your own joke, and then you flipped it on me. That was good. Yeah. Uh, so, there was a lot of stuff to talk about this week, mainly because there's one extra thing, and it was a pay-per-view. Yes, yeah. So we got a lot of stuff, starting with the tables, ladders, chairs, stairs, briefcase, guardrail, tag team, slammies, pay-per-view thing that happened on Sunday. Tables, ladders, and chairs, and stairs. Dot, 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 and stairs. Uh, TLC. Stu. Cult. Tilks. TLCs. Tilks. TLC, um, TLC ellipses S. <laughs> yes, uh, this was the main roster uh, trying to outdo NXT because I have fans. I have an opposite theory. Okay. Uh, I heard that a lot of the main roster was underplaying the TLC pay per view uh, as a silent protest to get Triple H to write the show. Yeah. Yes, I read that. Um, uh, yeah, I get. I, I actually, sort of believe. I it. read that in reference to on Raw. That um, Cena actually held a meeting backstage yeah. and said, "Hey, you know, right. silent, you know, silent protests are not going to help us. We need to, you know, we need to, you know, go out there and prove that we are just as good." So it's not showing. Um, TLC was okay. Uh, we had our pre-show match where the New Day uh, defeated Dust to Dust. I uh, didn't see that one. It was. Did you see it? No, I did. It was, was it was a decent match. Anything. It wasn't it wasn't as good as it should have been and it wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. But it was it was How okay. often is it as good uh, as I wanted? This to be? is yeah. this is where we got the the first um, we found out what the name for the New Day's double team finisher is, the Midnight Hour. The Midnight Hour. Uh, which the midnight was the, hour. the Midnight Hour. Which was the uh, the big ending into the uh, jumping DDT. New Day gets the win. Uh, that was a point for all of us. Everyone was going for the New Day there. Uh, I feel like that's going to happen a lot based on their predictions. We all picked yeah. a lot of the same guys. Well, I can tell you right now, I actually lost this one. Uh, then we open up TLC with the ladder match. Obviously, the match of the night was the very yeah, first I've, match of the night. I feel like almost everyone going into this thought that this was going to be the match of the night. Well, I mean, having uh, it already be Dolph Ziggler and Luke Harper, yeah. who are both awesome on their own, then you put them in a high-stakes match with a championship on the line. So, I feel like this was a bad choice to open the show yeah. with. Um, I saw the pay-per-view late, like, I didn't watch it live, and so I'd already seen a bunch of people saying how great the TLC match was, or the ladder match was, and, like, so it was so hyped up that as I was watching it, I was like, okay, this hasn't really lived up to the hype. And then Ziggler got busted open. Yeah. And the match just picked up like 200%. Well, and, well, and the, the first thing, you, you know, you had that dive from Luke Harper where he fucking landed on the ladder. And yeah. And his fucking arm. arm was broken. Like, these two went fucking... Yeah, these guys cut each other up with the yeah, ladders. This that was, was scary. This was the epitome of balls to the wall. Like, yeah. the, if there were two guys that were trying to prove they were as good as the NXT roster, it was Luke Harper and Dolph Ziggler. Yeah. Because they fucking went out there, the fucking opening match of the show, and stole it from the from the beginning. There was nowhere that any of these matches could go. Maybe that's why everyone else phoned it in. They're like, well, we lost. Yeah, they're like, they looked at the lineup like, fuck, Dolph's first. He's with, he's with Luke. All right, fuck it, guys. We're not going to do anything. The uh, way we can talk. It made, me, it made me come up with, like, my next dream match, though. Yeah. Intercontinental Championship ladder match between Dolph Ziggler and Shawn Michaels. Yeah. Oh, fuck. We can... Oh, wish. Wish we That could. match was good, though. Harper got, was. Harper got busted open. Ziggler got busted open. Harper's arm got cut up. Yeah, oh, yeah. Ziggler's rib cage was all mashed up. Yeah, it was, it was a gnarly match. These two fucking went all out. Dolph Ziggler retains the Intercontinental Championship. No, he won it. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was going, yeah. for, I was going for Luca. I was surprised that they 
took it I off wasn't. of Luke Harper so quick. I wasn't. But, granted, if I would have realized that they were in fucking Dolph Ziggler's hometown, I would have voted for Dolph Ziggler. <laughs> yes, they were in Cleveland. Cleveland, Ohio. But yeah, awesome match, and it was really all downhill from there. Ziggler yeah. won. Who got points on that one? Uh, that was Wolf. Just Wolf? Uh, no. Yeah, you, yeah, you guys. I don't know. Um, I lost. Uh, neither of us won the next one. Uh, tag team championship match. Uh, Miz and Miz Dow defending against the Usos. This was, I feel like this was too reliant on the Miz Naomi storyline. There yeah. was too much, there was too much going on that like the match didn't really matter. And, and everyone knows that in a match like this, all of our focus is on Miz Dow. Yeah. Like, no one gives a shit about the other three guys. Well, that's the only reason Miz and Miz Dow are champions right now, because Miz Dow is so over. They're like, hey, let's put the belts on them. Yeah. Well, let's put the belts on Miz, and then have Miz Dow carry have some... Have stunt belts. Yeah. And we, everyone voted for the Moneymakers to win. Yeah. They retained, but they lost by disqualification when uh, they fucking hit one of the Usos with a slammy. Yeah. Uh... So, uh, yeah, so that match just really fell flat. Like, there yeah. wasn't... I like the stalling suplex bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Miz Dow, you're amazing. The, the, that was... I mean, we knew that he was going to be the standout. Um, I hope they There lose. was... Uh, the. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. It's fine. I just hope they lose the tag titles, because if you notice, Miz Dow hasn't been legal in, like, any of their tag team matches. Mm. I hope they lose the... Titles when Miz Dow gets tagged in and Miz is standing on the apron and Miz Dow is just standing there, copying the Miz. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! He just stands there, gets kicked in the head, and <laughs> knocked out. Yeah. yeah. Uh, They're gonna lose it to Sheamus and his stunt double, no. r Truth. Well, no, that's what happens. Is that Miz is standing on the apron and Miz Dow's just standing there. And Sheamus comes in and boots Miz, and then Miz now just lays down. <laughs> and Sheamus goes over and pins him. Uh, oh god. I, no, let's not. Let's not. Um, let's do that, but not. One of the Usos Sheamus. using the Tequila Sunrise. Yeah, I, I, cool. did, I did pop for that. That's a Conan's finisher from WCW. Yeah, so, you know, it, there was, there were a few things, but I mean, the match itself was just, it was just a match. There was nothing yeah, special yeah, about next. it. Uh, up next, we had the surprise, like, hey, this is actually kind of cool, the stairs match. Yeah. With Big Show and Eric Rowan. They were uh, a little, they were a lot more inventive than I think we thought they were going to be. Yeah. Oh. And they were a lot more physical than I anticipated, because Big Show's one of those guys, he's been around long enough, and he generally doesn't work, like, at 100% capacity, unless it's in, like, a big time thing. A lot of times, I feel like Big Show kind of half-asses everything he does. Because he's a big dude, and every time he takes a bump, it's like a normal person taking like three or four bumps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? So, the fact that he went as physical, he took three or four outside bumps during the yeah. match, you know? It was a big, big time feel, big fight feel for Big Show and Rowan. Especially being like Rowan's first singles pay-per-view standout match. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, the spot where Big Show inadvertently got hit in the hip with the stare. Yeah, yeah, he was he was, he was noticeably selling that yeah. by that well, point. Yeah, I mean, I'm not even going to say selling, because, I mean, it hurt him. Yeah. Because he was rolling out of the way, and Rowan, you know, in the idea of, oh, well, Big Show's rolling out of the way, so I don't have to pull, pull my shot, just comes down and smashes the stairs down. Yeah. And actually catches the Big Show on his hip. Yeah. And, uh, Big Show were to, like, you know, like, oh, well, it happens. I'm going to keep fighting. Yeah. I feel like Big Show is trying really hard to put Rowan over. Even going back to the tag team matches they had, you know, when Big Show broke out the solar system flip. Yeah. Mm. And, you know, Big Show's really given it his all to help Rowan and probably even Harper. Tall, along. bald guys have yeah. to stick together. Yeah, well, and there, there's even a match... Uh, uh, later in the week, where I feel like everyone is trying to help Rowan, you know, really excel in the ring. Um, you know, it's it's becoming very apparent that you know Rowan was kind of the weak link of 
the Wyatt family. And so they're, they're trying, you know, all these guys are trying to give something for Rowan to kind of grasp onto and, you know, people to actually feel for Eric Rowan. Yeah. Just because it was a really strange switch for him to join Team Cena all of a sudden. Uh, so, yeah, I, I give I give points to them for creativity, uh, even though they got... Big the, Show won yeah. with a knockout punch to the back of the head. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's fucked up. Because, I mean, a knockout punch just straight up yeah. isn't fun. Knockout punch to the back of the head in real life is a uh, potentially fatal yeah. situation. Yeah. So good on you, Eric Rowan, for surviving. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, points for creativity. Um, then up, up next we had our tables match. John Cena, Seth Rollins. If John Cena loses, he will not get a shot at Brock Lesnar for the WWE title. Parkour! This... What? what? Parkour. Parkour? When Seth Rollins got to jump off the table, like off the ropes, then oh, right, right, right. Like yeah, on okay. the table and then on to Cena. I was like, wait, what the fuck are you Parkour. talking about? Parkour! Yeah, no, this, this was a good match. It was. I enjoyed this match and very given, much. Given everything that happened in the finish of this match and what would happen later, this felt like it was the main event. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, this... I agree. That's my mechanical principle. I mean, as far as, you know, stipulation matches go, you know, there's only so much you can do, but these guys... Table match is, like, great for the Dudley boys. Yeah. Great for the tag team scene. But one on one, you're sort of limited yeah. in a tables match, and I think with the addition of having J and J security being involved, really kind of put over that. Oh, the tables match can be fun and exciting because guess what? There was more than just two people right. being yeah. involved. I really enjoyed the you know every time you know Rollins would set up a table, try to put Cena in, Cena would reverse, and just before like he could put Rollins through the table, J and J would move the table out of the way. Or you know they and you know they were helping with the triple teams and you know Cena would fight him off for a second and then he'd get the advantage on Rollins and then they'd come back and, and then he suplexed Jamie Noble on the guardrail. Yeah, that's where uh, the guardrail grew. Yeah, that was fucked. And up. then he threw Joey Mercury into the timekeepers area. Everyone got thrown into the timekeepers. Every, <laughs> every other match, every other match legitimately had somebody getting thrown into the timekeepers area. Yeah, uh, it so had all the danger. <laughs> So we had uh, we had the 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 cleanup from J and J where Rollins got put through the Rollins table. got put through the table while the referee was down, but J and J came in, moved him out of the way, tossed the table out, so Rollins doesn't lose. Then we get the both of them hugging each other and falling through the tables on the outside. We get two referees. That was the, the friendliest table spot I've ever seen. <laughs> you get the two referees, you know, oh, this guy won, no, this guy won, Mike Yo says, no, fuck you, we're going to start the match over again, and then we get, uh... J and J Security get a double J yeah, AA J J through the table. The, the double AA, and then a uh, little, kind of a crazy little spot where there was like an attempt at a curb stomp that didn't happen, and then he spun into an AA, and then got put through a table, and yeah. Cena won. So John Cena. Not quite. You're no? fitting. You're forgetting the interference by the Big Show. Oh, that's which right. Which led to the return of Roman Reigns. That's right. Yeah. That because part. then Roman Reigns came out, speared Big Show through a table, then Superman Fuck. Superman punched Seth Rollins into the AA. That's through right. A table. Yeah, he punched him and then he spun. I should I should remember that because then they then he punch because after be all notes. after all that hype it wasn't uh, after all that hype uh, he ruined his return with a terrible promo. Yeah. Yeah. He, he, <laughs> after the match is over, Cena wins. Roman Reigns gets the promo and has an awkward like four second stall in the middle of his promo. <laughs> Your text to me was Roman Reigns had a promo. You forgot something. <laughs> well, yeah, that's the thing. He pulled a Randy Orton, but Sheamus wasn't there, so he couldn't ask him what his lines were. Uh, I feel I because well, Sheamus I, knows everyone's lines. Yeah. Just. He reads everybody's script. Yeah. Uh, then we had our Divas Championship match. This was okay. Yeah, it's a match. Uh, the the AJ Nikki thing keeps falling flat. I was really hoping that you know their segments didn't... their segments on Raws and stuff are better than the like their interactions in tag team matches and multi person matches are better than their pay-per-view matches. Yeah, because I was really Considering hoping... Considering the last one didn't actually happen as, like, a match. It was 
two moves, but... Yeah, and then yeah. we get this one, which is kind of. Eh. I was really hoping that this would, you know, have some of the magic that we had in that triple threat match when it was Paige, AJ, and Nikki. Yeah. You know, I was really hoping that we'd have something there. That was at obviously least... we just found out from that statement that the magic is in my wife. Yes. Magic is what you named your penis. Yep. <laughs> anyway, thanks. Uh, for, I was just throwing the softball out there, but somebody <laughs> caught it. <laughs> Uh, Nikki gets the win, retains the Divas title uh, with uh, help from Brie. Um, Hairspray? Yeah, they, they they went with the whole, AJ got injured with the, what do they call it? The conjunctivitis? Chemically induced conjunctivitis? Yeah, um, which is why she hasn't been on TV since then, Ugh. spoiler alert. Uh, so yeah. Um, so it was uh, earlier on the review show that you were watching. Yeah. Uh, and then a chairs match happened. Don't Man. watch a review show if you don't want to Ryback right won. They swung a lot of chairs. The only thing about this match that I enjoyed was right at the end when Ryback's trying to go for the meat hook and Kane hurled a chair at him. <laughs> yeah. Like, that was the only right part. Right face. I was just like, I was dozing off during that match and then I saw, oh, 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 yeah, the thing. And then the thing that Ryback I still noticed, won anyways. Yeah. And I continue to notice about Kane. It's nothing new. But... Just how physical he still is at his age. Yeah. No, and like you know, that's what I like. We're about talking about a guy who made his like debut for the WWE in 1995. Right. And has been Kane since '97. Yeah. So, so we're talking a guy who's been wrestling actively for WWE. This isn't talking about like the UWF Smoky Mountain wrestling stuff he right. was doing beforehand. So he, but yeah. just WWE next year will mark twenty years. Yeah, right. Next October will be twenty years for Kane. That's impressive. Um, you know, it was a chairs match. You can't do much with that anyway. Ryback wins. Uh, all those chairs. To don't the say that. And any vicinity where RVD can hear you. RVD and Sabu next year's TLC. <laughs> Yeah. You know, I feel us. like that'd be way more entertaining than any of the chairs matches that have yeah. happened previously. Well, they'll show us what you can do with they, the chair. There doesn't need to be a chairs match. No, there doesn't. There doesn't That's... need to be a stairs match. There doesn't need to be a tables match, because you're going to be using all that shit later in a TLC match. Right. Yeah. It doesn't need to happen. I like, like, I, said, uh, like that... I said, make a chairs match be where you just tie chairs to the ropes. That's the, that's the stipulation. That's fucked ah. up. That's fucked I like up. it, though. I'll, be, might, a, I'll that, be in a chairs match. That might be more entertaining. I'll be in a chairs match. Alright. Uh, then we had the uh, US Championship match that was complete and utter crap. Yeah. That's Tell us how you really feel. <laughs> That's, what, don't, what's my note? Don't hold back. Rusev. M-C-H-W crap. <laughs> That's initials. Oh, is that for... That's who... Nick? Nick, Colt, Colt Hawk, and Wolf. Everyone went for Rusev. And we knew won. it was going to happen. The match was crap. Yeah. It was god uh, awful. I hated it. Yeah, I, I was mean, really pissed when it happened. I felt like that is one of the silent protest matches where they kind of half-assed it. Yeah. <sighs> that pisses me. I was re- like... Well, the big thing I thought was maybe some of the other matches went long. So they had... Yeah, I, I, f- I feel sort of that is kind of the way, like, the tables match was pretty long. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the, the ladder, match was, the long ladder match was fairly long itself. The stairs match was a decent length. Yeah. The chairs match was average length. And I noticed the same thing as the Divas match wasn't very long. Yeah. No. I felt like the Divas title match and that match specifically were short, so they would still have a lot of time at the end for the TLC right. match. Yeah. And that's what Which I think. needed time. It could have been a silent protest match, and I think it was also that it other matches went over time, so they were like, okay, we'll just fit... We'll try to fit everything we worked out, and so they just... Tried to do too much in too little time. Yeah. I really, My note on this match is Swagger is good for taking about four kicks directly to the face he in did any t- given match. He did take some great kicks to the face. Uh, there was the the big super kicks. There was the get off my fucking ankle kick. Uh, and there was the, well, like, when they were fighting on the outside and like Swagger was up, like, propped up against the apron and Rusev did it like two times in a row. Yeah. yeah. Just, yeah, got straight shots right to the face. So, yeah. That's, yay. Um... U.S. Championship. Woo. Uh, but then, you know... In hey, the, let's get more love than the World Heavyweight Championship. What's that? A thing 
that used to happen. Oh, wait, that shows up in the main event of Raw. Does for, it the, really? for the first time in like four months. Ah! Holy shit. Um, then we had our main event, uh, our 35, almost 40 minute TLC match, which was uh, who can elbow drop? Uh, how high can Dean Ambrose elbow drop Bray yeah, right. Wyatt through a table? Um, that was cool. It was good. I, I, I appreciate The answer is pretty high. Yeah. Uh, I appreciated the things they did in this match. Uh, you know, granted, I appreciated some of the other things they did in this match. Such as? <laughs> when Dean Ambrose elbow dropped Bray Wyatt through the Spanish announce table and then leaned over and kissed him on the face. <laughs> <laughs> but that was all after he asked nicely if he could... <laughs> yeah, he politely <laughs> asked... And a rumor has it it was actually in fluent Spanish. Oh, I believe it. I think Dean Ambrose speaks Spanish. D- Dean Ambrose doesn't... He never learned Spanish. He's just so crazy that it happens. <laughs> he, <laughs> he just, just goes just, to a different country and can immediately pick up the language it's like on spe- accident. It's like speaking yeah. in tongues. It just kind of happens. I don't know where that came from, but hey, it worked. Um, one, of, one of the funniest things that was in this was... Okay, so we get we get the setup for the end. You know, Ambrose pulls out the the uh, the monitor from under the ring. He's kind of looking at himself and doing his hair. And then he realizes that there's the ladders back there. The, the the fucking huge ones. Yeah, the gigantic ladders. He goes for the second tallest ladder, and as he's carrying the ladder, someone goes, "Dean, get the big one." And he goes, "I can't carry that one." <laughs> and so proceeds. To carry the giant ass ladder down to to which I'm not gonna say he carried he pretty much dragged yeah it. yeah uh, it was like which he could have times he, his height he could have dragged the other one if he really wanted. no the real answer is I'm not Jeff Hardy <laughs> fuck you uh, I'm not that crazy I'm not that on drugs but th- this is that would that would be the tallest elbow drop you do right on the rampway there uh, through a table uh, then we're all kind of you know. On different different levels as far as the end goes. Yeah. Uh, like I said, we got the got the monitor. He goes for the quick bash in the head. And he gets caught up on the the cord. Then he realizes, oh shit, it's plugged in. I gotta go harder. Pulls it, yanks the cords out. Sparks fly. He's blinded. Sister Abigail Bray Wyatt gets the win. Uh, I thought it was a clever. I thought it was a clever finish because it kind of delves into the Dean Ambrose was only worried about causing damage and delivering pain to Bray Wyatt that he didn't think about the repercussions of ripping the cords out of a TV. Yeah. And so it was more so, you know, Dean Ambrose was in such a mindset that he just didn't give a shit and it backfired and screwed him over. I yeah. want to know who was under the ring holding on to the plug. <laughs> well, it was, it was. I guarantee you, it was if you on. grab your TV and take a running, running from it, before the power cord comes out of your TV, you will yank the power out of the plug socket. Yeah. Well, it also depends on how the cord is attached, because my, my TV has one of those, like, PlayStation plugs where it's not, like, connected to the TV. It just pops out. Yeah, but for the sake of theirs, theirs wasn't like that. Theirs, the, the cord was in the TV, which is what caused it to spark out when it yanked out. But the plug version, the plug portion that's plugged into the power supply, if you were to take like your phone charger and start yanking on it, before you damage your phone charger, more than likely, you're just going to unplug your phone charger. So there's there had to have been someone under there holding the power supply... And the plug together, or duct taped. Well, they were duct taped or glued the plug into the socket. It was oh. probably Hornswoggle because someone took his TV because that's where he lives. So you know, mad now. Yeah, someone took his TV. He did. It didn't even. He's pull, playing he, tug of war with Dean Ambrose. He didn't even pull the cord out. What he did, he did is he just like Hornswoggle like plugged it into the wrong kind of a socket <laughs> as like a joke. Well, no. And overloaded it with power. See, what I'm thinking is that Dean Ambrose took the TV out. And then Hornswoggle looked, where the fuck's my TV? And so he's on the other side trying to pull the cord. And then Dean Ambrose, and then that's where it pulls out. So if you couldn't tell, I like the also end of the Also because he doesn't didn't. want to have a kid. Yeah, I just think it's... So it pulled out. <laughs> it's an ending that was random and does nothing for Bray Wyatt. 
He wins yeah. by happenstance. I don't think this match was going to do anything for either people. Well, yeah, but... Either of the people. We the people. How many matches in all of his last feuds has Bray Wyatt won? And how many of them has Bray Wyatt won convincingly? Very few. That's the unfortunate thing about Bray Wyatt. I'm of the mindset that heels don't need to look strong, but they need to have a hand in how they won. Mm-hmm. All right. I, I, I agree with that. Um... Yeah, I mean, it's it's that thing, is that Bray Wyatt has this build-up of being kind of a mystic sort of character where he speaks in riddles and, you know, he's just got that creepy aura about him and then when he just happens to win because the other guy screwed up or the TV blows up or, you know, something like that happens, then it kind of goes, oh, well, how come Bray Wyatt can't win on his own accord? You know, because now I'm looking at, like, Bray Wyatt had his first big feud and did fairly well, but then he moved over to his feud with Cena and failed, and then he kind of had a mini feud with Jericho and didn't go over in that feud either, and now he's having this feud with Ambrose, and he's not looking very strong. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, you know, I could play devil's advocate and say, well, in a way he did have a hand in this because he had pushed Dean Ambrose to the point where Dean Ambrose didn't give a shit about what he was doing. And just wanted to hurt Bray Wyatt, but that's kind of a cop out answer. So yeah, I, I and I don't honestly feel like he pushed Br- Dean Ambrose into that way because Dean Ambrose is just that way naturally. He's uh, he's always been. I don't care what happens to me. True. You know, I'm out here to win the fight. I'm out here to fight my fight, not be the good guy or you know whatever. Yeah. So I got glitter in my eye. <laughs> uh, so all in all, TLC. I gave it a B. It wasn't NXT TakeOver. (laughs) Not even fucking close. From here on down to the next TakeOver. Oh, yeah. Everything is going to be compared to TakeOver. Everything's being compared to NXT at this point. That's... Even NXT. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. No? No. Oh, okay. NXT is being compared to WCW from the year 1996. And wins by default because WCW is not in business anymore. No. Whoops. Yay, NXT. Uh, but that's it for our TLC results. Uh, we got lots of other stuff. Yeah. We got Raw, we got SmackDown, we got, we got Midweek. Playlist. We got, playlist. We got playlist. yeah, all the playlists over. Uh, we got the results for Fantasy Warfare, the Fantasy Rumble. Uh, oh, we got a couple indie things. We, yeah, we, got, we, got, we, got, we got, got some indie results. Uh, so, yeah, uh, we're going to be moving on to the Raw Review and just Playlist. It's all there. It's let a it, Just let it keep rolling. Yeah, let's go. Let it keep rolling. Thanks, video. Don't, don't stop watching. Don't stop don't turn it off. enough. Don't you don't don't X the video out. No. Just, oh. just wait. I will hit you. I won't actually hit you because I don't know where you live, but And next video. Just take it forever. <laughs> you go start the next video, Travis. I will.